Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Derek Afasi. I'm the owner of Afasi Financial Group based over in Tampa, Florida. I'm uh, this guy right over here. Whenever you go to my website, I own Afasi Financial Group, and I have my website, retiresharp.com. Today's topic I want to discuss with you guys, term life insurance, and I want to reveal a trick on how you can save thousands of dollars um, with one of the things I wanted to reveal to you. Um, first and foremost, what do you need to know about term life insurance. Well, the most important thing is how much coverage do you actually need? And I broke this down into three simple steps to help uh, comprise a, a certain number on how much coverage you need. The very first step is your immediate needs. God forbid something happens to you, you want to make sure that your family is covered and most importantly the immediate needs are covered first. Um, you have these immediate needs can include mortgage, funeral expenses, the debt owed, and also the taxes. So try to uh, try to comprise some of those numbers and write them down on a sheet of paper before moving on to step two. Now, with step two is your current family needs. Maybe you know w when these things happen, and unfortunately, I've dealt with some clients that have passed away, and I've had to pay out beneficiary, uh, I had to pay out life insurance proceeds to their beneficiaries. And uh, you know, to be honest with you, it's it's probably the very worst day um, possible in in what I do, and the best day at the same time. And what I mean by that is. Uh, you know, when I'm, whenever I'm going through or I'm selling a life insurance uh, policy to anybody, I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm trying to conceptualize and, and try to really hone in on what is their most important needs. A lot of the times, their current family needs are they want to make sure that the bills could, the everyday bills could be paid. You know, the food, the clothing, the utilities can still be paid while their family is in their mourning process. And that is such an important factor and something that people don't don't necessarily think about as a need for their, uh, you know, for their life insurance coverage and and helping uh, determine how much that they actually need as a, as a whole when uh, you know when determining that life insurance. So the first one we went through was the immediate needs, the funeral expenses, taxes, or debt. The second one is the current family needs. That's the everyday bills, as if you were still bringing in that income, uh, you know, to your family, and that that is that is extremely important. The third and final um, is the uh, the future family expenses. Maybe you know you have a grandchild or a child, and you want to make sure that their college funding that it's that is properly covered, that you could provide for this child or grandchild and you could have you gave them the gift of funding their college or you could even give retirement um, I've seen a couple of cases I mean it might sound a little bit morbid but I've had cases where uh, one of my clients they had five children and rather than having them set up five separate retirement accounts all five of them were actually funding a life insurance policy for their father um, with when yeah, I mean it's very you know I guess wrong or morbid to think about it but essentially this uh, my, my client he wanted to make sure that he provided a retirement to his loved ones and the loved ones understood that that you know if, when, God forbid when whenever something did happen to dad they would be covered and, and their retirement would be covered as well so that's just kind of the third um, you know the third correlation and, and you, you want to try to match up all of those with the immediate needs the current family needs and the future family expenses and uh, to, to get a good uh, a good concise determination on how much coverage you need now the number one thing is what is the difference between term and permanent coverage and you know a lot of people say oh it's a lot cheaper or you might have you know Dave Ramsey Susie Orman they say they like term and invest the difference different things like that you know each person has their own ideas on how life insurance should be uh, should be portrayed or be construed uh, you know regarding a client and I just I really think that it all depends upon your specific situation but you have to understand that term is I guess 
equivalent to renting your insurance. You're going to have coverage, but you're going to have it for a certain term of time, a certain length of time. You could have it as small as one year term, or you could match it up. You could have a 10 year, 15, 20, 25, or 30 year term. And someone might want to go into 30 year term if they have, you know, if they just purchase a house. And you might hear something known as mortgage protection. All that means is that the company or the agent is coming to you and they're stating, okay, we're going to give you life insurance on the amount that you owe for your mortgage for 30 years or let's say 15 years, 20 years, whatever that is. So the most important aspect that you always have to think about when purchasing term insurance is to correlate a certain need to that certain amount of, uh, of term, that certain length of time. Now, this is probably the whole reason why you clicked on the video is what is the one little trick that can save you thousands of dollars when sh shopping for term life insurance? I'm going to go over an example real quick, okay, to help you understand how exactly this is possible. Now, after all analysis, we determine that you ha that you have some needs for term life insurance. Your situation may look a little bit like this. Um, you want to make sure that your child is covered for college funding, and we determine that that amount is a hundred thousand dollars, and it's going to be. You want to make sure that that, that you are covered. $100,000 for a 10 year time span, meaning that in 10 years, the kid will be out of college, all that stuff, and that need is no longer important for you. Your second need is you want to make sure that your mortgage is covered. You have 20 years left on a $200,000 mortgage. And your third need is you want to make sure that all debts would be paid off. This could be reoccurring debt, but you want to make sure that these debts are paid off within, and you know that they will be paid off within 30 years, and it's all comprised of $100,000. So if we add up the college funding, the mortgage, and the reoccurring debt, we get a number, if we add up all these numbers, it's $400,000 of term life insurance coverage. And this is what, uh, you know, what a typical insurance representative or financial advisor would let you know. Now, this one little trick is going to save you thousands of dollars if you do it correctly. What would 80 to 90% of the insurance reps suggest that you do? Well, they'll say, okay, you should, because we understand that your time horizon is 30 years, you should take out a $400,000 30-year term life insurance policy. Now, this is 80 to 90% of the reps that I come into contact with. They don't even, it's a very simple trick. Um, but if, you know, if you're the consumer and you're really looking at this, you, please ask your insurance representative and make sure that he sets it up this proper way. Um, you know that your need was $100,000 in college, $200,000 in mortgage, and you had the $100,000 in revolving debt. So the trick, what you should actually do, rather than buy 400000 of a 30-year term and spending all that money for 30 consistent years, you do something known as a laddering strategy. So what I would suggest for you with that similar situation is that you purchase a 10-year term for $200,000. I'm going to go very slow with this. You want to make sure that you have three separate life insurance policies. A 10-year term for 200000 a 20-year term for 100000 and a 30-year term for 100000 Now, we determined that you had a need of $100,000 college expense, but you, that it was going to go away after 10 years. We also determined that you had a $200,000 mortgage expense for 20 years, basically a mortgage that you wanted to correlate it to. So rather than purchase the full 400000 for the 30 years when you're only telling me that you need a 10-year and a 20-year uh, time frame of a need, if you did a $200,000 10-year term, this will eliminate, after 10 years, you don't have to pay for that life insurance anymore. That life insurance has now expired and that need has now been reduced and now it's specifically correlated to your situation. So your $100,000 college would be taken care of and the first 10 years of your remaining mortgage at $100,000 would be taken care of as well. The second thing what I mentioned was you purchase a 20-year term insurance for $100,000 because you know after the first 10 year drops off, then you have 20, you basically have another 10 years remaining on your mortgage and that amount is going to be $100,000. Now this is, you know, considering that all other variables are remaining constant, that's exactly how you'd want to determine that. So you separate that so you're not paying 
for even though all three of these add up to exactly four hundred thousand dollars you are laddering your strategy perfectly and saving thousands of dollars in the process and then your very last need was to purchase the 30 year uh, hundred thousand dollar term insurance because it was a hundred thousand dollars of reoccurring debt so I have a little note over here and it says rather than wasting money on a need that does not correlate you'll be taking a proactive step towards saving thousands of dollars utilizing this one little approach and please you know please go through this please look at this some more um, and and kind of determine what exactly? Maybe you even have certain life insurance set up right now and you might have made that mistake. You might have purchased a $400,000 30-year term and you just keep over overfunding this policy and you're overpaying for term life insurance when you, when you don't have to. You want to correlate it exactly to your need. So let's go over a review. What did we go uh, what did we uh, what did I just teach you? We I taught you how to determine the amount of coverage you need through the immediate needs, the current needs, and the future needs. How long do you need this coverage for? Whether that's a 10 year, 20 year, 30 year term, there's different brackets on how you could correlate those specific tasks, those specific needs to a term insurance policy, and the one little trick that could save you thousands of dollars on your term life insurance premiums. So what do you do from here to make sure that you are paying the absolute cheapest possible term life insurance premiums? And this is one thing that I stress is give our toll-free number a call right now. We have a 1-800 number and what we do is we we are a uh, we're deemed an independent insurance agency so we have an entire division of retiresharp.com we have a entire division designated for term life insurance and let me pull up that website again uh, you know this is the website it's uh, retiresharp.com have a couple of good ebooks different things like that but we have an entire section designated and over here you could set up different things we have we offer 24 hour 24 uh, 7 customer service so you can give us a call at any time but it's not going to be a song in the dance we're not going to be saying oh well you know you have to give us a call and we have to meet you face to face it's nothing like that 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 is complete baloney to do an evaluation we could do this simply over the phone we could do it through video conferencing so that you feel secure so that you know that you're properly taken care of and rather than placing a square peg in a round hole our company is an independent insurance agency and because we've designated the entire term insurance section we have proprietary relationships where we have over 200 different life insurance carriers to make sure that you are getting the cheapest possible price without the BS this one little trick is just one of the tricks that I have you know physically taught a uh, majority of my licensed insurance representatives whenever they're dealing with the clients over the phone and we have hundreds of other different trip uh, different tricks out there um, the only thing that you need to you know provide us is your name how much life insurance that that you're looking to have and that's it you know within 10 minutes we give you a quote we could tell you it right over the phone we could send you online applications regardless of where you are in the nation you know we, we handle all 50 states and we are all most importantly none of your information is shared it's not like we're you know one of these services that we're selling your information out there and it's people you know exactly who you are going to be dealing with my name is Derek Afasi I'm the owner of this company um, this is the guy right over here um, you know me in my in my suit but uh, obviously you have me on the headset right now um, and it's just the whole premise of my company, what I wanted to uh, to correlate it to, was making sure that you guys were paying the absolute cheapest life insurance premiums out there. And whether that's retirement, whether that's your insurance needs, you are doing it done efficiently, and and uh, you, you're you're basically getting done. Uh, you know, you you're basically being covered properly. We're members of the National Ethics Association. Uh, we have hundreds of little tricks to make sure that you are being taken care of properly and you're paying the cheapest price. Um, you know, please click on the link. I'm going to have a link attached to this YouTube video. And, uh, you know, give us a call anytime. Once again, that number is 1-800-566-1002. And I look forward to helping, with, uh, helping you out. And so does my team. And, you know, please give us a call and we'll make sure that you get the cheapest the cheapest possible insurance take care thank you